All right, welcome back to the Good Morning Ninja Show. And uh, for those of you now, we don't with us from the beginning. We say thank you. Uh, thank you very much for being here with me uh, because the show never finished. We just did kick off the segment where we're going to talk to our guests. And we know say we know if we bring our guests come studio due to the coronavirus pandemic. A lot of things don't change. So we're going to be talking to our guests via Skype. And with me, the first conversation we're having today is on public speaking. And I'm going to be speaking to Anieka Usoro, now public speaker, head corporate formal sector at uh, Trifex Limited lead consultant to Aquibom Inland Revenue Service. Uh, good morning, sir. Welcome to the Good Morning Niger Show. Good morning, my brother. How are you doing? I did very well, thank you. Uh, as we always they do on top of the show as tradition, we'd like to ask our guests, how are they? Honestly, based on say, uh, the pandemic, don't they? We would like to know how you did. How are you, sir? Oh, well, now, very, very pertinent question. I'll make I answer you as <laughs> a very pertinent question. Uh, now, question maybe say I'm supposed to ask everybody, okay? Because um, people, we don't know as people they, but how many are they? Well, I they try, they go, and they survive, and they try. Hmm. Interesting. It, it, it good to say you they talk um, honestly because uh, a lot of people go feel say eh, we get everything under control, everything they okay. But we know say some kinds is not today straight. Uh, and that are one of the reasons why we decide to get this conversation uh, based on public speaking uh, and how uh, the coronavirus don't change a whole lot of things. Uh, the in, in, that industry don't they affected? So make we even start from waiting the public speaking. Maybe people understand that profession as it be. So we we'll start from there. Okay, so basically, uh, what public speaking be now just the the art of you know communicating in public, speaking in public, speaking to an audience, uh, transmitting information in a public domain, you know, and through speaking, you know, there's writing, there's uh, audio visuals and all of that, but through speaking to an audience, whether live audience or as pandemic don't show us now, remote audience. Uh, that's really what public speaking is. Now, the content of what you can speak about, now we can come separate one person from the other. All right? Everybody gets area where you get strength. Everybody gets area where you get specialization. So um, the content of what you can talk, now you come determine the kind of public speaker that you are. Mm -hmm. So basically, that's it. So, so if they, if they rightly clear to talk, say every public speaker gets in specialty. Nobody say you go feed talk for everything. It's not even possible to make you talk for everything. You feed okay. talk for many things as it affects you because you know, think human beings get different experiences. True. And like I always tell people who I talk to, the best place to speak from is from your own understanding and from your own experience of a thing. So, of course. We as human beings, we they get different experiences, we they get different, you know, we they get different uh, challenges, different things going on happen for our lives. So we are able to speak on, but say make person come talk about everything upon the face of the earth. No, that will not the work. <laughs> okay, so be, uh, be waiting will lead me to my next question based on say uh, how person fit carry this one as profession. I would like to show uh, one video clip of how uh, you take day on stage, you do your thing. Maybe people understand waiting this public speaking team be. Uh, then we go enter um, the conversation of how you go fit use this one take do profession and uh, why it go day you know uh, viable for person future. More check out this video. Then we go enter the the, the level. So I believe, say, uh, we don't see waiting be the idea of public speaking. And uh, as uh, our guest, they talk, um, there's always a specific uh, point of view where every public speaker, they use the carry the, the passing message. So uh, we'll be, I've been talking, I would like to ask, how can one uh, make this a profession? Seeing that, uh, okay, I won't be public speaker. Uh, how I would go about um, this? Can, how can I live, have a living out of this? Okay, first things first, man. Anything where anybody is taking a living, now waiting, uh, now how is the big deliver value? So the question is, the thing where they talk, where everybody is here, all right? The message, and I always say to people that you have a message for the world. That message has everything with your name on it. Now, when you carry that your message, give to the public. When you carry that your message, give to people. The question is, what kind of value does it give them? What kind of problem does it solve for them? Does it help them understand a situation that they're in better? It is when you create that kind of value that people will now exchange 
waiting then get. You get value where they carry from, then get value where they carry from. The value where they carry from, not the business of communication and the communication of business, the gift of the gap and the ability to be able to explain, to break down a situation to them. The, the value where they carry from, and money where they could take pay you or waiting you don't help them fall. So bottom line, I say, even when you are speaking, you will be solving a problem. You will be helping the person you are communicating with to solve a problem. So that's how you generate income, you know, for public speaking. Every time that I am speaking, or every time any public speaker is out there speaking, what you are doing really is communicating value. It's not just, you know, it's not just about communicating, it's not just about talking. You are talking to solve a problem. You are talking to deliver a value, and everything that is valuable has to be accorded, you know, in return. So people give you back value by way of your fee, by way of your speaking, and uh, whatever, on the mm -hmm. by way of whatever. So once you give people value based on the message that you have, people will always pay you. And that's how. So now the business side of it is now being able to you understand, make you begin to structure your work in such a way that you can now deliver this value consistently over time so that you ensure that your revenue line stays open over time. That's really simple, you know, in a simple way. That's really how it works. So, um, in in conversations where people we just the as a lame man as they call them, we talk say, okay, she na something where I go fit, go school, go study, or she I go need to get one mentor we go show me as it they go. Then from there I go learn them, or how person go take run through that process of say, okay, now I will I be professional public speaker where you know that kind of thing. She how did they f f follow through that process? Yeah, well, what did they say? Uh... You know, say no matter how good you are, this thing will come naturally to some people, will become naturally to some people. But the truth of the matter, and I say, as long as you're on the face of this earth, you can learn, you fit to learn anything where you want to learn. Mm -hmm. All right? Now, truth now say, there is a way to do the right thing. I they always talk to people, if you ever have a message for the world, then you had better pay attention to how that message is delivered. I'll say it again. If you ever have a message for the world, then you had better pay attention to how that message is delivered. So in other words, what do you mean? I say, you feel get message, but if you don't know how to deliver them, mm -hmm. you know how to communicate the value where you get, all right? So one of the things that you can do is, yes, there are public speaking schools, there are public speaking coaches, more than that, you can also have somebody that you are watching, you are shadowing, you are learning from, which in this, you know, in common terms, we call a mentor, mm -hmm. because mentors are essential, all right, to your growth. Because in this kind of profession, we would say, what's in a mentor who do to you? And I say, it will borrow you in experience. Yeah. It will come give you in foresight so that the period where you will be taking learn what you want to learn, it will be shorter. So that the mistakes we in don't make. It could show you, say, not like this, not like this, not like this. You know, say, they've been getting people who get plenty of things for their hearts. They feel sit down with friends, talk all the talk where they want to talk, do everything where they want to. When you reach, say, make them stand for stage, tell the same people the same way they get for their hearts. Mm -hmm. Now, there you could just say, Yeah, I don't gas. <laughs> and people feel home out. Yeah. And people feel home out. They could begin to shake, like, say, Corona, don't come, thanks to. All right? But, you need somebody to hold you by the hand, literally, and they follow you up. And at the kind thing where we say, this thing don't help me. That's only said they help plenty, plenty people in the same way. So yes, there's the way to learn, and mentorship is extremely key to your development as a public speaker. Interesting. Okay, well, that uh, being said, I know say people wait on they watch this one, they go know, say, okay, now they get ways that they go feed, decide to enter this profession and uh, do and well as it's supposed to be. Uh, but uh, moving forward to the current uh, situation of the world now, we know, say, a pandemic don't hit the world and a lot of things don't change from uh, the operating system of things don't change. And for public speaking as a profession or as an industry, we know, say, uh, it takes with the gathering of people or you know uh, where you go need to talk to people and express yourself to people now that uh, a lot of things don't change regarding how people feel they come together they they listen to these kind of conversations how has this uh, pandemic really affected the uh, operating process of 
uh, public speaking as a profession? Well, the, the, the truth of the matter, my brother, and I say the pandemic affected a whole lot of things. But the way that the truth is this, and the way where I want to make everybody see this thing as concerning whatever business we can do, and I say this, this thing gives us redirection. Okay, nobody say it's slam, nobody say it's shut down. This thing gives us redirection because what really happened before, and I say you could feel hall, you could do events, or they invite you to an event, the hall could fool, yes. you could get one kind of theater everywhere go go, people go buy ticket but now based on the kind of situation that we're in everybody don't begin the leverage of technology before before i for don't come for, come for studio now but we're having an interview right now that is being accessed by millions of people across the world yes. and we're here yeah, we're talking you know we're talking so in the same way Public speakers have now begun to, you know, create that kind of that kind of opportunity where people could come on to different platforms. You know, there are many. I don't need to name them. All right, mm -hmm. there are many, many platforms like the one we are using, all the other ones that start with Z and end with M, and all of them, and ensure that people still come in. Now, the real key, okay, and this is the part I really want people to understand. What this pandemic has done to everybody is that it, it has helped you to sharpen your skills. Because when person could go buy data, log on, pay money to come sit down for a house to listen to you, you had better make sure that you are speaking sense. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. You had better pay your sleep value. So this thing has now helped everybody to sit back and say, really, let me let me focus on the thing where I get strength. So that if I call people, you know, say, hey, this is, I'm going to do a training or I'm going to be speaking on a particular subject at so, 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 so time, this is what you will put for you to access it. People could say, ah, because this man, they talk. Because this man, they talk, I won't go listen to him. All right? So that is what this has done. It has helped people to be able to take their skills, fine-tune it, and simply just start becoming the best version of themselves. And the truth of the matter, and I say, as I don't, as I don't they talk and take it. It takes the best version of you to deliver the best outcome. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Uh, well, uh, I, I would say I appreciate that one where you talk so. Uh, I believe, say, people don't take notes on that one. Now, another conversation we uh, been there around regarding uh, the public speaking space. We say, um, we know that uh, because of the current situation of, of the country and uh, the economy and the world, uh, a lot of uh, things don't change on how people, they also, they, they showcase what they, they do, you know. And uh, as we see, so a lot of actors, they on top of social media, they, they put out skits. A lot of musicians, they release music, they put them on top of social media, make people download. Uh, but for the uh, public speaking space, uh, how uh, the, 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 the process of, of uh, selling your market as a uh, lame mango column, how it, how it be? Because you know, if you go uh, individual, you know, if you go meet people anymore, say, okay, oh, I go like speak for your event, or oh, I go like do this kind of thing. So, how you they showcase yourself for people to take find you uh, or, uh, as, as, as a public speaker as at this whole coronavirus pandemic done day now? You know, you know, you know, you know something, yeah, my brother. The internet is a 21st century miracle. The internet has unveiled everyone an opportunity to become a world news center. So everybody is a media person now. Now, what's going to happen in the public speaking space is that um, one of the ways to be them to be very active. You know, if you one of my mentors, FD, we talk, say, if you are not on social media at least once a day, the truth of the matter, and I say, with all the issues we did in the world, people will forget you by the next day. Now, whilst you may argue with that, the truth of the matter is that visibility is essential to what you do. So for me, for instance, let me talk about what I do. I put out podcasts, okay? So two things, we make. people won't hear me talk, and people won't hear me talk. Out. So I could do recordings, podcasts, and I put it on Instagram, I put it on Facebook, I put it on uh, different uh, social media platforms, and people listen in. In, in this period, I've gotten many invitations, all right? Many, many invitations. Oh, we're doing this conference. Everybody's doing conference online now. Yes. Even churches do conferences online now. Mm -hmm. People are putting together packages online. This week alone, I'm, I'm speaking in about three or four conferences online. 
So when you keep putting out your podcast, you keep expressing your view and your opinion on certain things. You know, like I was listening to the gentleman that was in the studio just before I came on, and he was saying something about, you know, he was saying something about politics and elections versus yes. schools opening. Yes. And you know, I was like, wow, I suppose to give this man um, offering. Because if I begin to talk about this thing now, everybody could rush go my screen. Mm -hmm. So once you create that ability, once you, you know, you put out something like a podcast that people will actually hear, it's not just enough to write an idea or write something and paste it. No, record yourself and let people have an experience of you speaking and then, like that, they can begin to speak for you and they look for you. The truth of the matter is that now, as I, me, I believe, uh, my brother, I believe, thank you to say, this coronavirus, it came when the world was prepared for it. Imagine, say, this thing, when there's a no day. Imagine this thing come when, when internet is no day. Imagine say this thing come when we know to communicate like this, how we for do one. So our own is to leverage on everything we have and just make sure that we are constantly out there, make sure that we are constantly delivering value and then ensure that we remain relevant. And that's, and that, that's really Interesting. I, I, I like the way you take a uh, wrap up that matter. But uh, in your conversation, you make uh, uh, one uh, uh, talk. Say you get mentor, and uh, and I, 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 I said your mentor. You say FD. Now what do they call him? Then Afela Duruto. They talk about. I believe so. Uh, we go like uh, yeah, yeah. make we show uh, people small clip of uh, Fela Duruto himself, so they go understand who him be. Then they go understand why him go be your mentor. Then we will come back get to a small conversation before we wrap things up. We will check out this video. All right, uh, that now uh, small clip of uh, the uh, public speaker we call Felad Rotoye. And uh, the reason why we play that one is because our guest today, Aneka Osoro, be talks in my mentor. And so, uh, Mr. Aneka, looking at uh, Felad Rotoye and uh, we have find on come for this uh, public speaking industry, why you decide to take him as mentor and uh, how on a relationship be so far? Okay, um, first of all, this is. Um Every time, every time I, I think of um, Fela Drote, you know, I just recognize that there are people that God will always send to you. You can get people where we say God prepared them so that as you they come on your own side, they they come from their own side, you get well on a supposed meet and supposed job. You know, um, many things happen about that man. First of all, now in approach, in perspective, in authenticity, how in the original, you deal with the talk, now we you feel from the heart. In, 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 in the you know, because, you know, because now so it's so, you know, because now so it's supposed to be with them. And I'm waiting, I don't like for many, many, many years. Um, it's not just something that is part of me, it's something that's very close to me, even as, even as recent as last night. And I'm still day on top uh, what of the exchange messages and all of that and everything. Even in this week, uh, we get waiting for him, which I could do for him again and all of that. But you know, he's a fantastic. Uh, why, why, why he's my mentor is simply this: he's someone that has been able to do things to me, and I will run through that very quickly. Okay. So he's someone that has been able to be a light, to be a voice, and to be a dream. So as life, it's even for me, I say, in showing, you know, say when you talk of life, you talk of clarity, you talk of illumination, you yeah. talk of right. In done by an experience, don't shine light for me so that I feel find my way to my own light. Okay? As a voice, in don't, in don't talk on the issues that I believe matter to me. And you know, mm -hmm. many times they have 10 values of a true Nigerian, but I, even I have spoken and looked on many, many times, okay, mm -hmm. very clearly. And then as a bridge, he has simply been a connect from where I used to be, where I am supposed to be. So in many ways, and that's really what the mentor should be. A mentor should be a light, a voice, and a bridge. You know, and it has been all of that consistently over almost, uh, uh, almost uh, 16 years of close encounter and many more years studying him from a distance. Yeah. Um, I, Certainly celebrate him in every way. Not great guy. Mm -hmm. And the president, yeah, no good. <laughs> interesting, interesting. It could say uh, these things where you break down based on say uh, who in be to you. And a very, very interesting thing I talk. And these three major things where you talk now, now light, 
na voice and na bridge. And I believe say everybody will define mentor. May they look out for these features in this person. And I believe say this person could take them to where they, they go. Well, thank you very much for this conversation based on the public speaking levels. But before you leave us, uh, I would like just uh, uh, make you use this one as, as final conversation. Uh, for the uh, industry of public speaking, now, waiting be the new normal, waiting people go expect as uh, based on say a lot of things don't change. And for young people, we go like, uh, you know, decide to take them as career. Uh, with me that word of advice where you go give them from here on okay let me start let me start with the young people first and i'll end up with the way forward okay. new normal for public okay for every young person out there that desires to you know, operate in the space of public speaking that is blessed with the gifts of god and the ability to be able to articulate thoughts to solve problems understand that it's not just about talking it's about effective communication. And communication is simply defined as the process of transmitting information from one person to the other in such a way that the one receiving that information receives it in the way that the sender intended it for him to receive. Do you understand? Yes. So, people don't say now walk. Yes. Don't think that it's just about uh, uh, just putting yourself out there. You've got to be solving problems. So your message should be tied to what problem you will solve in the society, in the nation that you're in, in the space that you occupy. Yes. So find that problem, work your solution, and you will be valued. And when you are valued, you will become one of the most sought-after speakers wherever that you are. And now for the industry, yes. one of the things that I truly, truly believe quickly is that, hey, as it is right now, people, people will leverage on technology. Our voices will continue to be heard. Mm -hmm. We will actually, what we've discovered is that by virtue of technology, we're actually reaching out to more people than we were reaching out to before. We're yeah. actually, you know, touching more people than we were touching before. And that's the new normal. So once we are, all, all we just continue to do in this time is to become more creative, find more ways to be able to build more content and make the content more interactive. And then people will be able to do more and more of it. Like I will always say, there's the communication of business and then there's the business of communication. And both of them have to go together for you to be as successful as you should be. And I will say to everyone, you are the keep working the path of your champions. All right, uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Anie Kaosoro, for this conversation on public speaking. It's very, very, it's been very, very uh, insightful and educative. And we thank you for your time for joining us on the Good Morning Niger Show. Thank you. All right. To enjoy more of these our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.